Hi guys, today I thought I would show you my favorite perfumes. This is not my whole collection here, I have nine to show you, but these are just my all-time favorite ones I have, like my go-to ones, so I'm just going to jump right into it without talking too much. Okay, so this one is Hot Couture by Givenchy. I have used the whole bottle, this is my all-time favorite perfume. I have looked up here, sent descriptions for each of them, because... I'm not very good at describing what they smell like. I just know they smell good. So this one here, it says, Hot Couture by Givenchy. The top note bursts with spicy yet tart raspberry, lovingly fused with bergamot and orange before being whisked away into the heart, where an exquisite mag mango magnolia simmers with pepper, creating a dusky, lemony touch. Okay, this one smells like raspberry and hot girls. That is what this smells like. It smells amazing. I get compliments on it from my boyfriend. Every time I wear it, he thinks I'm wearing something different for some reason, even though I'm wearing the same thing. Um, my dad says I smell good. My boss says I smell good. Sometimes people just get a whiff of me and they're like, you smell really good. And it's not me naturally, it is just this really yummy, yummy, yummy perfume. So if you get a chance to smell that, I'm sure you will love it. Another one I have here is Play by Jimashi. Um, This one says, it smells like spicy notes of pink peppercorn and orange blossom. It's kind of floral, orchard, sandalwood, tonka bean, benzoin, and benzoin. Okay, that's what this smells like. I do not know what half of those things are. I've ran out of this, so I can't even like go like this to show you it, but I know I loved it because it, it's spicy, right? Like, peppercorn is a really nice... Um, kind of ingredient to have in a perfume because that's what gives the kind of sexiness to it. I have found because I looked these up and now I realize my favorite ones have peppercorn in it. So yeah, I guess that's what I like. The next one I have here is Dolce & Gabbana Por Femme. Um, what does this one say? Okay. The new Dolce & Gabbana Por Femme begins with notes of raspberry, tangerine, leading to the heart of jasmine and orange blossom over the base of marshmallow, vanilla, sandalwood, and heliotrope. I don't know how to say that. Okay, this one, definitely this smells like spicy, and then you smell the marshmallow and the vanilla. It smells literally delicious. It smells so good. Um, yeah, it's not really like... Definitely it stands out. It's not like your kind of fruity, like, teenager pop kind of thing. It is kind of a unique scent. So, yeah, I really like this one a lot. Okay, the next one I have here is Versace Woman. This one smells like raspberry, plum, roses, and cassis. Um, I guess that's it. Raspberry, plum, roses and cassis, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Mmm. It smells like a perfume shop. This one is feminine smelling. It's pretty, um, this is probably one of my not like extreme favorites. It's kind of, um, I don't know, I'm not in love with it, but it is a good one. Like, it smells good, you know, it's not horrible. I have some other ones that don't really smell that good. I mean, this one is, well, how do I explain this? It's an average smell. It's not super sexy and it's not super spicy. It's kind of just in the middle to make you smell good. This is for when I'm lazy and I just need anything to smell good. I don't care what... I smell like in particular, I just want to smell good. I would choose this one. So yeah. The next one I have here is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. 
This is a very popular one. Mm, it smells fresh. It is such a light perfume. Um, I think everyone likes this perfume. You can put so much of it on. You can, like, drench yourself and stuff. I love to put this one on my hair because it's not overbearing. I mean, it's just so light and yummy smelling. I don't know what's in this to make it smell so good, but it does. This one is definitely, like, if you go to a perfume counter, I guarantee you're going to like this. Maybe it's not what you're looking for in particular, but if you just want a new one to smell good, this one is really good to have in your collection because it's an everyday, like, great for every purpose kind of smell. So, yeah. I have Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue um, Escape to Pan or Ray. This is a summer version. It's limited edition. Mm, it smells like light blue with, like, vanilla in it. It smells like hot couture meets light blue. It is amazing. I can't really smell anything anymore. I can't describe this one. It just smells really good. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on because this is getting, like, to be a really long video. The next one I have is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. It looks like this. This one smells like flowers, like pretty flowers. You can't really go wrong. It's kind of like a fruity scent with flowers. Mm, I love Juicy Couture perfumes. Um, I kind of had an obsession with Juicy Couture, tracksuits, purses, everything like that. It kind of grew out of it. It's kind of a teenager smell, even though I am a teenager. It's just not so mature smelling, so very pretty for sure it's definitely a floral perfume kind of a fun fruity floral perfume so yeah my next one is called Lacoste Touch of Pink mmm this has always been one of my favorites too this is like my third bottle of it mmm it smells so good it smells kind of like sporty I kind of like the smell of cologne a little bit for a girl, it smells to be just a little bit guyish. This is one of those. This one is like just fun and kind of. It smells like fresh, kind of vanilla y, and then a little bit like fruit. Not fruit. What is it? Gosh, I wish I looked it up, but this one is just really good. I have smelled the other Lacoste ones, but this one is my favorite. Um. The next one I have here is Viva La Juicy Noir. This one is limited edition. I have the scent scent um, description. It says fruity, woody, caramel, white, floral, and vanilla. So this one is very, very yummy smelling. Mm, I love this one. I drench myself in this one, basically. But mm, I didn't know it had... Um, I didn't know this one smelled like caramel at all, but it is a sexy one. Like, it's called Noir because, I don't know, I guess it's supposed to be sexy. It's one of the most sexiest ones that Be Juice Couture makes. So, mm, this one smells really good. <laughs> so, yeah, that, um, I think that concludes it. Yes, it does. So, subscribe and hope you guys have a good day.